do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so as present on the screen there is an equation which we have to balance but the method is ion electron method so this is like the previous one only but the thing that we are going to do is we are going to separate this uh, equations how let us see so this is the equation that they have provided us and they have also provided us that this should be in acidic medium so the first step will be common for every method that is for acid medium as well as for basic medium as well as for ion electron method so the first step would be calculation or determination of oxidation number so let us calculate that so the step number one will be determination of oxidation number so the first reactant which is uh, mentioned on your screen uh, was cr2 o7 2 minus so in this case i could write the overall oxidation number as minus 2 so therefore the oxidation number of cr 2 7 2 minus is minus 2 therefore i could write it as 2 into cr that is chromium plus 7 into oxygen atoms and the overall charge is minus 2 so i would consider the oxidation number of chromium as x so therefore 2 x plus 7 into minus 2 which will give us minus 2 therefore 2 x is nothing but minus 2 7 2s are 14 but minus 14 will give you this number which will give 12 therefore x is nothing but 6 so the oxidation number of chromium was found to be 6 in case of cr 2072 minus so let us move towards the next reactant which is fe2 plus So we don't have to calculate the oxidation number of this Fe2 plus as it is already mentioned that the oxidation number of Fe in this case is 2 plus. So let us move towards the product one. So the product is Cr3 plus. Again the oxidation number is not that we have to calculate because it is already present. So it is Cr3 plus and for ultimately that is Fe3 plus. So this is how the oxidation number that we have can estimate so the determination is been done so eventually i could write the overall equation in this manner where cr2 o7 2 minus was reacted with fe2 plus that has given us cr3 plus plus fe3 plus so in this process the chromium which was having an oxidation number of 6 has turned into an oxidation number of 3 while the copper which has oxidation number of 2 is being converted into oxidation number of 3. So in this overall reaction the change is formed in both the cases in which the oxidation number is being decreased in chromium and while it is being increased in iron so therefore this is said to be an oxidation and this is said to be a reduction so i would consider this as reduction and this one as oxidation but this i have written in simultaneously but I have been mentioned that I should mention this but the question is to balance in iron electron method so the next step will be I am going to separate that which one is following oxidation and which one is following reduction so therefore the step number two will be determination of oxidation 
एंड रिडक्शन प्रोसेस सो दिस रिएक्शन इन विच वी हैव अर्लियर एस्टिमेटेड इन विच द क्रोमियम इज अंडर गोइंग रिडक्शन वाइल द एफ ई इज अंडर गोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन सो आई कुड राइट दिस रिएक्शन एज क्रोमियम ओ सेवन टू माइनस विच इज बीन कन्वर्टेड इन टू सी आर थ्री प्लस एंड दिस रिएक्शन इज नथिंग बट रिडक्शन वाइल एफ ई टू प्लस इज बीन कन्वर्टेड इन टू एफ ई थ्री प्लस विच इज नथिंग बट ऑक्सीडेशन सो इन दिस स्टेप वॉट वी हैव डेड इज वी हैव सपरेटेड दिस इक्वेशन एंड हेज दिस आर नोन एज हाफ सेल रिएक्शन और हाफ रिएक्शन सो दिस इज ए हाफ रिएक्शन वाइल दिस इज ऑल्सो ए हाफ रिएक्शन सो वी हैव डिवाइडेड द बोथ इन टू एन हाफ रिएक्शन सो दिस इज द स्टेप नंबर टू दैट वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड बट इन दिस केस there is no mention of how many electrons are being lost so we are moving towards the next step and in this step we'll name it as determination of electron lost and electron gain so step number 3 will be determination of electrons gain and lost so the first half cell that you have observed in this case which was chromium 2 o7 2 minus was giving cr3 plus in this case the oxidation number of chromium was 6 while in this case it was found to be 3 so therefore i could write this reaction as cr2 o7 2 minus which is giving me cr3 plus following the process as reduction but the oxidation number of chromium was here found to be 6 while here it is found to be 3 so 6 is been converted into 3 so this is only possible if this will accept 3 electrons so i will add 3 electrons so therefore the gain of electron in this case is 3 this method should be applied for the next one also so the next one was in which fe2 plus was been converted into fe3 plus and this was known as oxidation process so in this case the fe2 plus is been converted into fe3 plus so this is only possible if electron is lost but how many electrons are been lost by conversion from 2 plus to 3 plus the number of electron that are been lost is 1 so i would write it as one electron but this is not yet balanced so what we have to do if we observe that the number of electrons gained in this process is 3 while in this case the number of electrons lost is 1 so the both electron gain and loss are not equal so therefore number of electron gain is not equal to number of electron lost so as i can observe that there are there should be three electrons on the uh, oxidation that we have received during oxidation but here it is one so what we are going to do we are going to multiply this oxidation process by 3 so the next process would be or the next step would be step 4 that is balancing electron so for balancing electron what we have did is we have multiplied Three to the process which is showing oxidation. Therefore, the answer or the equation is now being converted into Cr two O seven two minus plus three electron that should give me Cr three plus in reduction. While 
I have multiplied the three with the oxidation and the process which we are showing oxidation where Fe2 plus was been converted into Fe3 plus. But since I have mentioned that I have to multiply it by three, so three moles of Fe2 plus will give three moles of Fe3 plus by giving three moles of electron and this process is oxidation. So ultimately I have got the balanced equation uh, which is electronically balanced by the number of electrons. So the thing that I am going to do next is to equate the both equation. So in this case if I equate this thing but I could also equate it by doing the next process. So friends, so this are been Okay, so friends, so this equation is been balanced with electrons. So what we are going to do is we are going to equate the both the half cells and let us see what would be the answer that we could get. So by equating this equation, we could get this three electrons while this three electrons will cancel out each other. And the answer that we could get is Cr2O7 2 minus plus 3 times Fe2 plus that should give us Cr3 plus plus 3 times Fe3 plus i. So this is what we have got a balanced equation based on the number of electrons. But the number of oxygen atoms is also been left on the left hand side and as well as on the right hand side that we have to balance. So the step number 5 would be balancing oxygen atoms. In this case while balancing oxygen atoms we could do it by the method of half reaction also. So earlier what we have got the half reaction as Cr2O7 2 minus that has given us Cr3 plus. So I could write it as it is. So therefore Cr2O7 2 minus that has given us Cr3 plus. But is but in this case as I can observe that the number of oxygen which is present on the left hand side or uh, I could say in reduction process is 7 while in that case of uh, the product side is 0. So the number of oxygen that I should add on the right hand side is 7 times H2. But in case of the next half reaction that is when 3 moles of Fe2 plus is been converted into 3 moles of Fe3 plus. So in this process the number of oxygen is not present uh, on the left hand side as well as not present on the right hand side. So in this case we don't have to balance it. So we will keep the reaction as it is in the oxidation method. So ultimately this was the step number 5 and ultimately we are going towards the step number 6 that is balancing hydrogen atoms. So in this case the earlier the half cell reaction was Cr2O7 2 minus that should have given Cr3 plus plus 7 times H2 while the iron is as it is. So I will write in this way Cr2O7 2 minus that should have given us Cr3 plus plus 7 times H2O and which was a reduction process and ultimately 3 times of Fe2 plus has given us 3 times of Fe3 plus. So in this case as we can observe that the hydrogen is not been balanced. As we can see there are 14 hydrogens which are present on the right hand side uh, during reduction while there is nothing which is related to oxidation. So what I am going to do is I am adding 14 times of H plus on the left hand side or for the equation for the reaction 
in a reactant where the deficiency of hydrogen has been observed. So therefore I could observe that there is 14 times of H plus ion that are being deficient on the left hand side. So this is the overall half reactions that we have mentioned. So the next step would be balancing every reaction in this case. So if I balance this equation by equating this half reactions so what i could get is cr2 o7 2 minus plus 3 times fe2 plus plus 14 times h plus will give us cr3 plus plus 3 times fe3 plus plus 7 times h2 so this is the overall reaction that we have got during the method applying ion electron or half reaction method so thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got an idea about this method too. It was very much simple but a bit hectic. So try to share with uh, your friends this video and please don't forget to subscribe eGita channel. Thank you so much.